to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Prepared or are we just I I I literally rushed here and I have just what I have. I don't know um, if in fact looking through the file now, I do not see well, I suppose an actual we could start with the minutes first yeah. of all, right? Mm -hmm. Minutes from August twenty first. Yeah. I have not had a chance to read them, but can I move we accept them? Seconded. Both been made and seconded to accept the minutes of um, August 21st. August 21st, 2018. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The <laughs> ayes have it. Okay. Um, yeah. We have some. <coughs> now, are these copies, are these new invoices for this week? Yes, they are. 831 <coughs> invoice date. Do we have anybody to explain these invoices? Sure. Matt? Uh, first one, hopefully they're in order, the order that the uh, right. packet is put together. But uh, ally testing invoice number 18072 for $125 for just some, uh, probably some masonry testing. I'd have to take a look. Mm -hmm. um, give me a second. Uh, yes, masonry CMU testing of grout water cubes. Okay, I see that. Yeah, one twenty-five. Okay. It's hundred twenty-five dollars. Intertech uh, invoice number two six one three three two for ten thousand dollars. They are the, the people who did the testing of the mock-up. Okay. There's going to be one more like this, a larger mm -hmm. invoice uh, down the road. But at the moment, this is the first part of it. Um, and that work is done, complete. Um, it's going to be redone, but not on our dime. The contractor has to pay for the second time. Okay. And third one is Strategic Building Solutions, invoice 221401 in the amount of $42,353. And that is the Strategic uh, Building Solutions Collier's invoice for the month. Next one is SMMA's invoice 49507 in the amount of $29,834.82. Again, as well as uh, that's SMMA's uh, monthly invoice for their architectural services. And last but not least is Fontaine's requisition uh, invoice CAP702 in the amount of $2,647,337.45. August um, requisition number eight, and that we have, uh, I have all the copies here signed, mm -hmm. we'll probably giving out at some point. Okay. Um, and I believe that's everything that's attached, mm -hmm. right? We checked that. Move as well as by the, uh, since I may not get another chance, part of that requisition is also change order number four or included in that requisition. And change order number four is in the amount of uh, $38,470. And what was that change order for? You recall? That was for there were a few items. It was PCO 007 for electrical modifications to the rooftop units due to, I believe, different manufacturer being selected well, than was we designed. Talk about we talked about that okay. the last okay. public okay. meeting. Yeah. yeah, it just got rolled into the right. Uh, PCO 19 canopy PM modifications had to do with some structural. Um, talked about that too. deviations yeah. in the field. Uh, how yep. do you want? Yeah, we talked about that at the last. Mm -hmm. Oh, do we? I, do I, have to I think all of all? these we had. Yeah. Okay. We just about. didn't have the. Um, we just didn't have it. We, in it. we talked the about the, yeah. the PCOs, yeah. and then we rolled them into this change okay. order. And they were all previously approved. Yeah, yeah right. Just exactly. made part of yep. this change order. Okay. okay. All right. Thirty-eight four seventy. All right. We'll entertain a motion to pay the invoices as submitted and read. So moved. Second. Second. Made and seconded. Any discussion on any of the invoices? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Okay, the ayes have it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, 
Yeah. Made the motion. Yeah. Who seconded the motion? Teresa. I, I, oh, I did. Yeah. Oh, Teresa. Teresa. Okay. Okay, Matt. Do you want to go down the um, the checklist? Sure. Here? Which you go down next, um, right? That I may not follow that the committee update. Exactly. Oh, yeah. You can uh, do the OPM report. Oh, do you have anything else, Hank? OPM report. The OPM report. Yeah. yeah. Slash. Yes. Uh, basically, we're doing well. Um, we're on schedule, on budget, which everyone likes to hear. Mm -hmm. uh, starting from top down, no roof yet. Mm -hmm. uh, the weather has not been cooperating. We need two or three days in a row of good dry weather in order to get started on the roof. But the material's been up there for almost a month, and we're waiting. It's supposed to come this week, later in the week, and get started. <coughs> Excuse me. That'll enable us also to get ductwork going because all the ductwork is lined. You can't get wet and wiring can get started. <coughs> Things like that once you have a roof on. Exterior sheathing is progressing all around the building. Pretty much everything with the exception of the gym um, is framed and sheathed. And also the little area, the gym corridor and the upper machine room has been framed but not sheathed yet. Next week they're starting the air vapor barrier system spray system on the exterior sheathing um, on the inside petitions interior petitions are ongoing now pretty much on the second and first floor third floor is well along they're waiting for some door frames so they've stopped framing certain areas door frames are due next beginning of next week um, picture what we've got here so electrical they're doing a lot of roughing on all the floors now that the stud walls are up they're doing the in-wall roughing conduit and receptacle boxes and switch boxes everything like that plumbing it's the uh, <clears throat> still some roof roof leader work sanitary roughing and as well as uh, they finished the radon what else are they working on pretty much that's been it they're gonna be doing that for quite a while uh, electromechanical pipe, copper pipe, and the the cast not cast iron, but the uh, steel pipe, the you know big tall coupling type pipe, loads of it in the ceiling. Um, again, they can't do the duct work now, so they're working around it, hangers and everything else. Hmm, what am I missing? Framing the windows and stuff. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, well, they're putting the air vapor barrier uh, mm -hmm. around the wood blocking or the as well as caulking the seams or the joints of the sheathing. Um, that's required by the manufacturer. We put housekeeping pads yesterday. Yesterday, yes. Um, as well, all that's left now concrete-wise is a little kind of, call it a foundation, if you will, of stair one and then the loading dock, and that'll be the end of the concrete. But the loading dock won't be until they resolve the whole uh, oil tank, propane tank issue and figure out exactly where everything's going. Is it tight over there? Is that what happened? I'm it's sorry? a tight area, so it's just yeah, a coordination space. <coughs> going on, yeah, making sure there's a lot of uh, utilities sort of coming in within the, where the propane tank sits versus where the. It's pretty simple. Oil tank. First guy wins, last guy loses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, they're trying Sometimes, to get yeah. ahead of that, yeah. So well, that but propane no they, they need later. distances <laughs> away from the building so I think that's what the mechanical contractor was worried about when his ductwork couldn't go in that everyone else would be in there but oh but that reminds me too uh, possibly the end of this week or beginning up next the fire protection sprinkler contractor will be starting as well okay. and I think that pretty much mm -hmm. does it railings Rails stairs yeah. two and three the railing system that's up in, in the middle, not the one that would go on the next area walks, their individual railings, but that railing system has been installed as well. I think that's pretty much it. Site work, infiltration basin number two is done. That's the one in the southwest corner. Uh, they're gonna start the water main from South Road into the site next week or later this week. That's already been tapped. That's what they did on the weekends, right? I, you know, I, they tapped it for the hydrant I don't uh, know that they tapped. I think they the, did. Did I they? I think they did that. From the tie oh, in maybe they're coming already. off the same spot. Then, yeah. Okay. I think, I think yeah. There that. was some kind of a loop thing there. I think yeah. it is. Yeah. Um, and then after they get that done, they're going to start, you know, work their way do the, uh, the drainage work at right near our gate. There's still more manholes and catch basins and what have you. Um, 
that's that part of it. Do you want to use this to go into talking about the? Um, yeah, we might as well. Yeah. Okay. So back a, a couple, good couple, three weeks ago, Kirk asked me to look into the possibility of doing the drainage work or storm drainage work at George Bond's yard from the catch basin back into the wetlands in the back, um, which we looked into. It, it's uh, measured out at about 210 feet. And the price we've been given right now, which is just a rough price, it's probably going to call it nine to $10,000 in that range, OK? Uh, the second part of that Kirk had asked me about was down or up the road where the landscaper's yard is. There are t currently two existing catch basins. One is the called the primary. The other one is the overflow. Um, I guess the water department, the head of water department, had seen water bubbling out of it a while ago. We hadn't, it turns out, we hadn't connected the primary to the overflow yet, so everything was, primary was filling up. However, the one concern that Kirk has is currently there are two 12-inch, maybe 15-inch lines coming out of the overflow, going through the landscaper's parking lot, if you will, into the wetlands again. We don't know if they're working. If they're plugged up, they may be clear. Um, <coughs> could also be collapsed. We don't know. Um, however, that is something that, if you would like, we could have um, um, Gagliaducci investigate it. Probably a few ways they can do this. They could uh, I think just cameras, maybe send some. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm call it on the cheap for the moment. Just if somebody could just step in there, look, they may see daylight at the other end and say, "Well, good," and that could be the end of it or fill up the, the catch basin with the fire hose. I go to the other end, this water, if water's flowing, great. If not, then we have to get into other things, some, whether it's a rotor rooter thing or something that will tell us whether it's just blocked up or um, collapsed, or collapsed. Yeah, just a, some couple of guys that do just with the camera alone. Yeah. Well, that, the yeah, camera and that'll down, just- Then you can see Right. At what point, I mean, we got one broken pipe or not, or at least we can find it, or if it's perfectly clear. And but Based on the condition of the drain pipes that we've been taking out of the ground, between being silted up yeah. and just and rotting. I don't know if it's all corrugated. It, who knows? It could be, mm. could be the mm. worst case scenario. Anyway, um, I guess with you know your permission, we'd like to at least get um, Gagliaducci um, yeah. like on a, on a T and M basis. I'm talking mm -hmm. the, the least thing, a couple hours, a couple three. Oops, sorry. <laughs> just to fill this thing up, wake up, and see if it works. Mm -hmm. At that point, it's like okay, it's a bigger deal. Um, yeah. We step back and say, what do we want to do? Right. Yeah. But um, that sounds good. We should have it all done. But I know when the town we were talking about the school, the former. Highway superintendent had said, "Oh, we'll we'll put that pipe in. Don't mm -hmm. worry, don't worry." Well, he's since gone, and I just didn't want to leave it to chance where we're done. Mm -hmm. Springtime comes, we got problem over there, yeah. right? And Mr. Barnes's house, he was expecting to get it done and get it done in, a, in the right mm -hmm. fashion. So I, yeah, I asked us to investigate it to find out because I would like to see that done before the ground freezes up and be <coughs> done with it. So Mr. Barnes doesn't have to deal with it or wonder about it until. The next season, so to speak, right? Um, and the yeah, other drainage areas, as and well. then the other one as well. Yeah. But right. it all started off actually with, with the well, actually the two together. But yeah, but yeah. mainly right. because so the town had promised that this the pipe across the street, and I don't believe the town can actually fund or have the ability to even do that right now. Right. Um, also, also, again, like we spoke, that pricing of nine to ten thousand dollars is excluding any kind of wetlands. Yeah, permits issues, issues, extra issues. kind of work, special work to be done. Mm -hmm. It's just if it has to be, then we can add a cost. But if you can make it go away, um, that'd be nice. So I guess what we're looking for right now is authorization to um, for Jen to do a formal proposal request, and we get you know tight pricing from them for at least number. to George Bond's property, yeah. and then also give us the go ahead on a spending a few hours yeah, have so people do some research on, on the other one. So That's we'll, uh, Tom Cook's parcel. Yeah. So we'll move on that. Yeah. So go so ahead with that. that. Yep. Yes. Okay. Because frozen ground's not your friend. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Okay. All right. Um, All right. Is 
pretty much it, Matt. For well, well, that's it for the uh, okay. OPM, at least what's going on in the site. Is there something else that Tim usually gets into? I don't have any of the other backup. Uh, no, that's fine. Just, that's just fine. Maybe financial stuff. Jen. How about Jen? What do you got? Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> I like that. You came all this way with nothing? Oh, you could have stayed home and sent us a text. <laughs> It was fun uh, driving through the rainstorm this morning. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Too. Oh my God. Uh. Um, I don't know about the rest of the board, but as I said, I've been, you know, kind of avoiding the building up there on purpose, just let everybody do their thing and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But I know maybe if the, the board and Matt and whatnot, we can maybe do a site, site visit. visit prior to our next meeting or something like that there. Or mm -hmm. Okay. If that sounds good to so everybody. If yeah. it's not raining. Before we get into yeah, the, if it's not raining. Before we get into the slip and fall season. Yeah, you know? right. Good, Maybe we good can idea. Set up just a yeah. one on one to kind of see it in its raw, yeah. raw stage, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, I'm always there, so right. whatever works for you folks. So, so like um, before a meeting, maybe something. before a meeting, we'll meet there at, at five. Or I mean, I don't know if we could legally have the meeting there or not, but uh, yeah, um, I think you have to have it. Well, that. there's a possibility. Well, we not still knowing when that's going. Well, obviously, yeah. it's the next meeting, but uh, there could be a financial. What is it? All the financial, financial committee, committee meeting committee. possibly needed before that. I don't know yeah. what's going. Yeah, what's five coming up. Usually when we have those, so it would have to be around five. I mean, if we're going to. Yeah, I mean, we could do it four o'clock yeah. and then reconvene. You guys could do your thing, your finance here, then we could come back for the yeah, back six o'clock, something like that. Maybe just a half hour, forty-five minute, or an hour walk. By the time you all get there and do a little walk around. The right, yeah, yeah the model the slow you down. Murals going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I, well, I mean, actually, just. No, we don't even Some know. of the things we've done, we have been starting over the past couple of weeks. Um, we've had our initial FFE, furniture, fixtures, and mm -hmm. equipment um, procurement meeting with our consultant, and we met with the new principal, and Chris was there, uh, and a s select group of teachers. And so we've started that process. We're going to start looking with Rick and with Mike Wakefield um, and the new principal, whoever wants mm -hmm. to join, to talk about the technology package and all of the technology equipment. So starting to get into the, the details, the fun stuff now, so, yep. It's no longer just a dream, right? It's reality. Yes. I yep. know. Something's I happening know. up there. <laughs> huh? Something's happening up there. Well, the house is on Wellington and Southward are getting awfully small. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, they're in the shadows. It's the sun goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Um, at some point, we'll review or at least get a look at the all the furnishing yes. and that type yeah. of stuff. Yeah, so we'll go through the process, and then Stifera, our consultant, will come to the building committee meeting, oh, okay. and we'll show you all yeah, of that, good. and you yep. can do a final approval of all of that. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Right. good. No, it's good. Yes, absolutely. Anybody got anything else to add? Yeah. Sure, mm -hmm. Good. Rick, how do you digest an update? Go, all the walls are clean. <laughs> a lot of floors this week. You measure up those floors? Yeah, we'll, we'll get it figured out. <laughs> <laughs> it's all linoleum, no wax. It's all linoleum, no <laughs> wax. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are, they leaving, are they leaving any custodial hatches like in the floor? You can just sweep it under the rug. And it's <laughs> Disney World, same thing. The Everything's floor. underground. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Um, you guys all set? Yeah. Saying yeah. nothing? Motion to adjourn? Oh, you know, okay. oh, okay. I did no, go ahead. Did miss something if I can just no, go ahead. Mm -hmm. digress to the uh, OPM report. The mason has been in. Um, he's finished the uh, concrete block um, elevator shaft. Oh, yeah. It's up through the roof. Oh, okay, good. And most of the uh, rooms in the back by the custodial area, the electric room, fuel pump room, and all those kind of service rooms, mm -hmm. most of them are complete. All blocked off. Uh, by the end of this week, they will be all done, and that's it for the CMU work. Oh, that's good. And it's a matter of starting the brick mm -hmm. after the, uh, once you get the mock-up, you know, worked out, and they can start putting brick on the mock-up. That has to be done first before, yeah. so we can get a level of uh, quality out mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. I know it's two separate projects, but how are they progressing on the police station right now? I haven't even been up there to even look. It's, <laughs> it's pretty, uh, it's pretty uh, empty. Right? <laughs> no? Got it. Yeah, it's really got it. It's got it. It's yeah. got it. Yeah. the windows. The is the foundation? The I mean, are they Foundations in the back. Is, is it all yeah. Yeah. motion? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. So, so, okay. All right, motion to adjourn this time? Motion to adjourn. Second. Right, we're adjourned.